Uh, hey guys, it's Alan at Cabinets Quick. Today we're going to talk about the different kinds of drawer boxes. Uh, so I have a couple examples of the drawer boxes we make here. Um, this is a dovetail, uh, Baltic, half inch Baltic birch plywood drawer box with a maple veneer drawer box bottom. A thing to note about the dovetails is the spacing and we put a finished edge on all the dovetail keys. Uh, in a future video, we'll talk about why dovetails are special and not so special these days. Um, so here's a half inch dovetail draw box. Uh, this is kind of our go-to draw box because it is a nice wood draw box, uh, but it is economically priced. And then we have the Blum undermount runners. This guy is an example of our solid wood maple draw box. Same thing, it has dovetails but it's made out of solid wood, uh, hardwood maple. It's a little thicker, it's 5 8 material. And this is a great example of things you can do with interior drawers and rollouts. So we have a regular drawer and then inside for additional organization, you can have a rollout like this. Um, so that is an option. The other thing noteworthy about the drawer guides and drawer boxes is with the Blum hardware, you have the adjustability. So if you were to have some adjustment problems and it wasn't aligned anymore, you could go and move this over. with these screws. And that's kind of the reason why we use these bigger uh, clips rather than the smaller clips, is it gives you the uh, adjustment. This lets you bring the drawer box higher. So suppose we went to the highest setting. Now the drawer box moved up. And if you wanted to bring it down again, you bring this down. drill box came down. So these clips are very versatile for uh, tuning and adjusting your cabinets so that all the uh, gaps and reveals are equal. And equal gaps and uh, reveals are a hallmark of good quality cabinetry. Whether the gap is a little wider or not, as long as they're equal, uh, that's what you're looking for. Okay, so we talked about the dovetail drawer boxes and here's another version of a drawer box that we do. It is a dowel drawer, so there's no joint showing. The interior joint is a dowel. And another uh, notable difference is the hardware we're using is a side mount hardware. Uh, the question being, why would you use one over the other? Um, side mount hardware is more used for commercial applications. You can also get side mount hardware with soft close. So in commercial applications, we prefer to use side mount hardware with uh, a dowel drawer. Uh, because it's more economical and suited for that purpose. Um, this is white melamine, but you can also get it in other materials, almost any color you want. And we'll look at another metal drawer box system next. Okay, so we covered uh, dovetail drawer boxes and we covered dowel drawer boxes made out of melamine. And now we will talk about the third variety of drawer boxes, which are metal drawer boxes. And metal drawer boxes basically have metal sides and um, a melamine bottom and back. And this one is showing a matching gray melamine. Uh, this drawer box is called Legra Box from Blum. Uh, it's a fairly popular one. It works very similar to um, any other undermount drawer system where there's a couple of clips here. You can take the drawer off. Uh, the only difference, major difference is that the clip is integrated into the drawer guide. Once you put the drawer box in, you can adjust it with these adjustment screws here. And then there's a cover cap for that. Um, like every other drawer box, there are different heights for the system. So you can have a tall drawer, uh, shorter drawers or rollouts. And, um, 
There's a few variety of the metal drawer boxes, but this one is a very popular one. So we're showing this one right now. So here's an example of a Legro box rollout. Uh, they also come in different heights. This is a narrow drawer we're showing an example of. Um, so it's a rollout and it basically goes behind a couple of drawers, makes it easier to access stuff. And it comes with a metal front, metal sides, and then we provide the bottom and the backs. And it kind of shows the two different ways you can do it. Okay, so the last drawer we're gonna talk about today is a push to open drawer. A lot of our customers didn't wanna have a handle. Uh, there is some undermount hardware out there that you can touch open. It's called tip-on, and it works the same as regular undermount hardware, except you have to push it to close. It doesn't self-close, and it opens like that, as opposed to this. Um, so this is a tip-on drawer guide. Works the same way, it's from Bloom. Uh, it has the clips, same adjustability. It has a little bit of a different hardware where there's a little mechanism that pushes it open and it clips onto this. This has some adjustability on how to bring in and out the drawer. But essentially, you can push to open and then you have to push to close. There's also doors, same concept. And um, with this hardware, you're not limited to the drawer. There's metal drawers, there's dovetail drawers, and you know there's always a dowel drawer. If you guys have any questions on um, different options or different applications, please feel free to call into our office and we can help you with any, anything you need.